Hello everybody, it is Umi Tencho back with another vid. Now this was, um, these drawings were done over two drawing streams because I had to do some catch up work. I realized I didn't have the spirit form of Talpa for my um, Ronin Warriors review. So I was like, let me go ahead and get it because if I use the form I do have, it's gonna be sort of a spoiler. So, yeah. So I pushed back the um, last subject to next week, so it will be it will be shown. You will see who I'm going to draw next week. I'm going to I think I'm going to make it in the first or last. I don't know. I gotta think about that. See what my mood is like. Um, so I made some other changes. Um, some people may have noticed. Um, I have deleted my again. I don't know if I said this last time. But I deleted the Instagram. Um, I deleted my, you didn't probably even know if you had this, my Facebook. I just deleted a bunch of, of social medias because it's too much work for very, for, and I was not, I was personally not getting much out of it. And I'm just like, what does getting out of it means? It's uh, getting the approval of others. And I'm just like, yeah, that's not very healthy. So another thing I went and did is um, I deleted my Patreon probably about two or three hours ago. So this has been an ongoing issue with Patreon for uh, for some years now. When I first made my Patreon page, um, I was not showing up in the search engine, in Patreon's own search engine, and it's because they had me marked as not safe for work or 18 plus. And I was just like, I'm over here, I'm over here doing like 3D donuts and drawing anime characters. How am I not safe for work? And I'm not drawing them in sexually um, suggestive poses or anything, you know. And they were just like, okay, we did, you know, we did, um, we um, marked your um, channel as being, you know, not 18 plus. But if it is, be warned, blah blah blah. So whatever. So I, I show up for a little while in the search engine, in uh, Patreon search engine. So, mm. so. I just decided today to just, you know, see if I can find my name. And I couldn't. I, you know, I tried both with my, you know, logged in and not logged in and all this other stuff because I was having other issues where I would view the public page but and my posts were public but they were supposed to be for patrons only. I'm just like, why are you making my stuff free? They're all marked for patrons only. And so I, you know, I went and did the search and, and all this other stuff and I started looking up the issues and stuff and I saw nothing for my case. My stuff wasn't, it was not marked um, 18 plus. It still isn't technically. Um, and my page was published and you know, whenever you will Google my name and potential, you know, the Patreon doesn't show up at all. So I have figured that page and it could be because I play 18 plus games. I think that's what it is. You know, I got, you know, I got the shooters and all that stuff. I think that's what really, what, what, what really made them go at me. But, um, basically I've been, I've been shadow banned. From Patreon, on Patreon, basically I can post post stuff, and you know if I give you my direct link, you can find the page. But if you look, if you're just looking for me or whatever, I'm not gonna show up in the search engine. So I've been faithfully giving, I'm putting my content on there for all these years, and you're just gonna just be nasty about it. So I deleted it. You know that's less work for me. You know, so the Patreon's gone. Now in its place, I put up the, I created a Reddit community. Um, so if you want to, you know, contact me or whatever through that way, you can. Uh, don't worry, it's free. It ain't gonna cost like Patreon. Pa my Patreon was only like a dollar a month anyway. You know, I was like, I'm only comfortable with charging people a dollar a month. And I think that's another reason why Patreon didn't like me because whenever I go into the settings and all that stuff to make sure things right, it'd be like, uh, please change it to $3. We recommend $3. I'm just like, no, you know, $1 a month. So I, I probably wasn't charging enough either either for Patreon to think I'm even worth hosting on their website. So I've already gone through the process. It may it may still show up, but according to their process, it takes about 30 days for them to fully delete your account. So basically by mid-September, it should, the, the Patreon stuff should be gone. I went ahead and deleted all the Patreon, the uh, Patreon exclusive content. It was some crappy like uh, channel review videos where you know go over my channel like I'm doing now. Um, 
And I think it was like 3D, I did the, the 3D Donuts thing video, which you now see posted. That's been posted years ago. That's not nothing new. That was made ye like a year or two ago. So don't think that's something new. So, you know, I just made what was public, public. And then what made no sense to still exist on my YouTube channel, I just deleted it and then call it a day. And I've already gone through all the YouTube videos and took it out the Patreon. So you don't have to worry about, you know, if you also want to support me financially, you don't have to worry about throwing money into the Aether. So that's out the way so i think officially there's no way there's officially no way to financially support me so i think i have the youtube i have the the, the deviant art and i have the and i have the reddit and that's it that's it you know i don't i i understand that i don't make content that people want to support in that in that way and that's fine with me um, I'm just gonna keep keep doing what I'm doing, and if I ever get the opportunity to monetize my content in the future, great. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put extra work on something I'm not fully into, especially when I've been faithfully doing it. Like as soon as I get the stuff posted onto the main stuff, I post it on it. Like I don't know. So, but that being said, that's it for the pay for um for Patreon and all the other stuff. So for now, I want to see the YouTube, the Twitch, and YouTube, Twitch. Um, Reddit and DeviantArt. Um, yeah. And obviously you can con obviously you can send me a message through DeviantArt, um, Reddit, and Twitch. Um, YouTube sucks. The only way to really contact somebody on YouTube is to comment on their, on their video or in their discussion or whatever. And it's, yeah. If you want something private, you want to have a private conversation, you don't want to put something public on a public forum like that. So, yeah. So that's the thing so on that that being said you know now that the instagram is gone some of you probably like well where's your garden oh don't worry the garden's still here i'm just like it's too much of a chore like i'm not i'm not making this garden i'm not gardening you know for online validation or anything like that for me when i make this art stuff it's more like creating a portfolio so if someone's going to see my work and they're like in 10 buck two i can post i can send them over to my you know my gallery my, my demon art gallery and they can look it over you know you know in order to make it a more immersive process I'm like well here's the process of me creating the artwork you know so and then gaming is just gaming for me. It's just an excuse. My gaming video is just an excuse for me to just get through, just to actually find time to play video games, really. So, and to practice. And then ultimately, making all these videos over time will, of course, make me better at video editing. Like, I just started this week. I don't know if I'm going to do it with this video, but I know I've been doing it with the other videos. I've been, um getting more into the audio editing side because I'm just like I need to I need to get better audio audio quality because it's you know at this point I it's not going to be that hard for me to get 1080p 60 frames a second with my computer it's now we now need to get we got the visuals down we need to get the audio down so when people click in it sounds nice it doesn't sound like the crap that's been happening with the um my dragon dragon ball heroes world mission hopefully that world mission gameplay series would be the last time you have to worry about craptastic um audio so just bear with me that's gonna be at least for gaming wise that's gonna be it you know i'm gonna you know really focus on making sure my gaming audio is on is on set i really like how i did this one I really like how my art, art skills are going on. I know I know I don't normally praise myself. I don't like praising myself or anything like that because when you've been bullied, there's not a lot of self-confidence, but I'm, I'm really liking how I did this week's art. When I look back at the top of one, the first one that I drew in this video, I was just like, this is much better than the top of that I did last year. And so that's what you want to do. It doesn't even have to even be necessarily big change. It can be small changes. So, you know. That's why I'm happy about you know drawing and all the other stuff because this is I'm the person I used to only be able to do stick figures and all that stuff. I still have memories when I was giving paint as a child and I created that crappy paint. You know I know it's going to take me just like it took me years to get to this point. You know even if it isn't even if I'm still in the bottom 99 of you know for people that can draw. You know it's going to take me years for the for the paint stuff. So and you know this is just showing me just put in the time. Be patient, try honest effort, try the honest effort to learn and be able to take, you know, be able to take criticism on other stuff and you'll improve over time. So, and I'm very happy because my other um, solo leveling artwork 
the second one at least, I wasn't happy with that Cheyenne. I think that's her name. I was happy with the statue of G, but that Cheyenne, ooh, ooh, I'm definitely gonna have to revisit her, so. Just looking at it now. It's supposed to be like a bag or something like that. Like if I was like if I incorporated color into this, it'd be like more obvious about what I'm trying to do with him. I mean what's going on behind him, but I'm just very happy how I handle it. Especially the eyes. Especially the eyes. The best money I ever spent was on two two sessions of art lessons at my uni. That really what put me off, put me on the start for just starting to just practice drawing over time. Um, do expect to see um, another art video that's going to be on my OC. I think my when I draw my OC character, um, that's going to be bonus. That's going to be like a bonus nighttime video. So this is Umi Tencho. I want to thank everybody that has supported me down the years. Uh, my social medias are in the video description. Um, have a wonderful and a blessed day.